welcome to Sairam channel. Today we will learn about NCRT class 12. Hello all kids, hello everyone. What do you mean by hello all kids? We all know that all kids are a type of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons where carbon and hydrogen are the main elements. If for example for n number of carbons, if I have 2n plus 2 number of hydrogens, then these class of hydrocarbons are called as alkanes. Alkanes. In this alkanes, if one of the hydrogen is replaced, so now number of hydrogens are less, one less, and it will be replaced by a halogen then these are called as halo alkanes halo alkanes so these are the halo alkanes these are the derivatives from alkanes where you replaced hydrogen with halogen this halogen can be x can be f fluorine chlorine bromine or iodine anything halo alkanes similarly if we can take arenes arenes are aromatic hydrocarbons the base unit of arene is benzene mostly so if i can take c6h6 this is the molecular formula of benzene these are arenes arenes looks benzene looks like this alternate to double bonds and each carbon is having 111 hydrogen. For your understanding, I am writing this. So, this is benzene. If I replace one of the hydrogen of benzene by halogen, then these are called halo arenes. These are called halo arenes. You have different varieties of aromatic compounds, all these things. So, halo alkanes and halo arenes arise from the corresponding alkanes and arenes respectively by replacing one of the hydrogen by halogen group. Halogen can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. We will see now the classification of these haloalkanes or arenes. On the basis of number of halogen atoms, how we can classify these haloalkanes basis of number of number of halogen atoms. For example, if you can take alkanes, I have first alkane is CH4 methane, the next is C2H6. You can replace this, then CH3, one hydrogen is replaced with some halogen, we will represent halogen with this. These are, and similarly C2H5X, these are the haloalkanes. These two haloalkanes are called as mono halogen alkanes mono halo alkanes so these depends upon number of halogen atoms you are replacing if i have a similar like this ch2x and ch2x this is ethylene ethene alkene so ch2 double bond ch2 in this alkane h is replaced with x so these are called as dihalogens dihalo alkanes dihalo alkanes like this we can have trihalo alkanes and tetra or polyhalo alkanes if the number of halogens are more than two or three then we can simply say a poly or we can if it is two dihalogens and if it is three trihalogens if it is four tetra likewise we can continue and if you can take a tri ch2x chx and ch2x so this is our trihalogen. These are based on monohalides. These two. This is a dihalide. This is a trihalide. Trihalide or trihaloalkane. Similarly, if you can take a halo arenes. If I have a benzene group, benzene. This is the arene. And you replace one hydrogen with X, then it is monohalo arene. If I do the similarly, if two hydrogen halogens, then it is dihaloarene. 
if I have m one more, then it is a trihalo n. So later we will see that what these are, how these will be named. Further we will learn. So these are the halo organs. The main thing. So this is the halogens. Even further we can classify in a different way. Now. We will classify these haloirins based on the bonding what they have. For example, alkyl group where the carbon is sp3 hybridized. sp3 hybridized. Hybridized. That is called sp3 hybridized carbon because in methane, if you can take it is sp3 hybridization of four sp3 hybrid orbitals and four will have. Uh, bonding with uh, overlap with uh, S orbital of the hydrogen, so you, you get the compound like this CH4. So, this is the sp3 hybridized carbon. So, I have an X here. This is halo alkene. This is called alkyl halides or halo arene alkenes. Alkyl alkyl halides. The another name is of halo alkenes is called alkyl halides because this group is called as alkyl group you take a alkane alkane and remove one hydrogen then you will get a group called alkyl group so it is called as alkyl this is called alkyl group so these are called alkyl halides in these alkyl halides if you can see this carbon where x is attached that is halogen is attached is sp3 hybridized carbon and this carbon is containing three more hydrogens this carbon is containing three more hydrogens then it is called as primary alkyl halide it is called as primary 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 alkyl halides if it also contains one alkyl group and two hydrogens also called as primary alkyl halide so based on this we can classify alkyl halides into primary, secondary and tertiary alkyl halides. So this is the primary alkyl halide where the X containing carbon is having three hydrogens or one alkyl group and two hydrogens. Then it is called primary alkyl halide. Similarly, if you can go for the next one, we have a secondary alkyl halide. What will happen? The same carbon which containing the X, if it is having two alkyl group, one alkyl group R prime, another alkyl group and one is hydrogen. So then this is called as secondary alkyl halide, secondary alkyl halide, secondary, secondary alkyl halide. Similarly, if the X containing carbon is having all three alkyl groups, then it is called tertiary alkyl halide. This is called tertiary alkyl halide. So, based on the type of carbon, these are called alkyl halides because sp3 carbon. And based on the number of alkyl groups attached to this carbon, we are telling that a primary, secondary, or tertiary alkyl. These are very important because once you go, you will be learning the reactivity of across these three types of alkyl halides. Similarly, we have another group called allylic halides allylic halides allylic halides halides what are allylic halides so these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom that is next to a carbon carbon double bond so i have carbon carbon double bond then there is another carbon atom so these you know carbon carbon double bond where it is there then it is called sp2 hybridized carbon hybridization is sp2 but this carbon is now sp3 hybridized if i have a halogen here then they are called as allylic halides they are called as allylic halides so ch2 generally ch2 double bond ch then ch2 x this is called allyl group this group is called CH2 double bond CH single bond CH2. This group is called allyl group. So these halides are called as allylic halides. These are called as allylic halides. If I can also have the similar concept in a ring, cyclic alkynes, alkenes. So this double bond, then there is a bond 
single bond. Here I can have an X. You remember this is also called as allylic one, but here these hybridizations are different and this is different. This is now once again a spitter hybridization. So this is also called as allylic halides. Allylic halides. Then we have benzylic. Another one is called benzylic. I hope you are understanding. Next one is benzylic. Benzyl group. I have a benzyl ring. Over that I will be having once again a sp3 hybridization. For example, if I have CH3, that is called toluene. That CH3 where a hydrogen is replaced with X, this is called benzylic. Ben Benzylic, benzylic halide. This is called benzylic halide. So these type of halides are called as benzylic halide. In this benzylic halide, X is attached to the carbon and remaining can be anything. Hydrogens R, R and R prime. You can have different benzylic halides. But the halides are called as benzylic halides where a sp3 carbon attached to a aromatic ring. sp3 carbon attached to a aromatic ring and there the sp3 carbon is having this particular halide. So these are so these are called as benzylic halides. Clear? So now we will go to the another classification. These are all where the halogen is attached to a sp3 carbon. If the halogen is connected to a sp2 carbon, for example, I have CH2 double bond CH2. This, as you know, this is alkene. This is alkene, ethylene or ethene. If I remove this hydrogen, one of the hydrogen and put X, then this is alkenyl halide. So this is called vinyl halide. This is called vinyl group or vinyl group. So this is vinylic halides. Vinylic halides. This is vinyl halide. Vinyl halide. So this particular group is called vinyl group. That is CH2 double bond CH is a vinyl group and CH2 double bond CH then CH2 is called allyl group. This we have seen previously. This is allyl group, allyl group. This is vinyl group. So this here you can see the difference. Here you have carbon which is sp2 hybridized. And this carbon is sp3 because it has a double bond, so it is sp2 hybridized carbon. So when sp2 hybridized bond carbon and halogen bond here, here sp3 hybridizes carbon and halogen bond. So this is allylic, this is vinylic. So vinylic halides where you have double bond attached to a sp2 hybridized carbon. For example, we can also take ring compounds like this. This is the Vinylic, ah, vinylic, once again, vinylic halide because I have a double bond sp2 hybridized carbon and then attach it to a halogen. Similarly, you will have aryl halides. So, aryl halides, all these are halo alkenes. Now, halo rings, already we discussed that chlorobenzene, for example. You can take a benzene and replace hydrogen with some halogen. Halo benzenes, halo arenes. These are all called aryl halide. You can have this is one aryl halide, or you can take a toluene and substitute halo halogen in the other para position. Why it is we shall see. So this is also aryl halide. So similarly, you can have a huge number of aryl halides. These are the major types of halo alkenes or halo arenes. Now we will see how to name them as per IUPAC and common names. So nomenclature, nomenclature also very very important, nomenclature. So haloalkanes and haloarenes are what are the common nomenclature. For example, if I take a compound like this CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. It, you know this is a sp3 carbon, so it is alkyl halide, simply. So the common name for this alkyl halide, it is a propyl group and it is a straight chain. So normal N, small n, we should write normal propyl, propyl group. And this is bromide, so bromide. 
n propyl bromide n propyl bromide p should be capitals every time first row n propyl bromide this is common name this is the common name common name n propyl bromide but if you have to use iupac name iupac name sir very very important iupac name what is the iupac name of this so all these alkanes are generally iupac name we call this is alkane of containing three carbons three carbon name is prop and alkane you will write a suffix a so propane that is called propane if it is a alkane but there is a substituent called bromide so what we will say one bromo propane where the prop one two three it numbering then one bromo so one bromo alkane parent alkane propane so one bromo propane one bromo propane is the iupac name very simple just you consider this bromide as a substituent then you can write as one bromo propane so this is the simplest way. if i have another one ch3 ch br and ch3 here if it is there it is not uh, the iupac name is 2 bromo propane you know you can number it from any direction 1 2 3 or this side 1 2 3 both are same number 2 so 2 bromo propane it is simple propane so iupac name is 2 bromo propane propane 2 bromo propane but what about the common name so this is not the n propyl it is not a normal propyl group because it is having a branched chain because here there is a branch one side ch3 another side ch3 so we will say this particular group is called isopropyl group the common name you have the propyl group is called isopropyl isopropyl group will be like this ch and ch3 ch3 this is the similar one ch3 ch3 ch so this is isopropyl group so you have now bromide so isopropyl bromide so what we will say it is isopropyl bromide so iso iso propyl propyl bromide you can write bromide isopropyl bromide so similar way we need to know so naming in iupac is very simple you take the parent alkane and consider that the halogen has the substituent halo alkanes so that's what the name came so iupac nomenclature is very simple whatever it is there you will just consider the halogen as a substituent then it is very very simple another we will take ch3 ch ch3 and ch2 ch so this is having the four carbons now i need to consider is iupac name for example iupac what should we do wherever halogen is there based on that you can have number so first 1 2 3 1 2 so substituent at one position is my halogen second position is there is a methyl group so what we should write one chloro halo substituent that is chlorine so you have to write chloro one chloro then you have at second position there is a methyl group so two methyl one bromo two methyl two methyl then what is the parent at least three carbons so it is propane then you know, we can write as propane two methyl propane propane so one chloro two methyl methyl propane 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 so this is the iupac name of for this particular compound and here this particular group common name if you can see common name commonly used name commonly used common name common name can be different from different regions so it's worldwide but iupac name worldwide is same that's why iupac name is better to practice so common name this is called isobutyl group 1 2 3 4 carbons are there and this particular group is called as isobutyl so we will say isobutyl chloride isobutyl chloride 
so this is the common name for this isobutyl chloride and iupac name is 1 chloro 2 methyl propane 1 chloro 2 methyl propane so these are the names for these halo alkanes halo alkanes i hope you are understanding if you have any doubts you can just post your doubts in the comments such that we can revert back to you if you can see in the tehalo ions i have benzene and having a bromine so it is benzene and you have a bromine so bromobenzene both iupac and common name both are bromobenzene bromo benzene bromo benzene if i have one substrate they very easy to represent so you can simply say it is bromo benzene it is mono substituted benzenes so one bromine is substituted so it is called as bromo benzene if i have another bromine group then you need to find out how to write this for example i have another bromine here so now it is a di substituted so dihydrides so two bromines are there what should we write actually in benzene ring you know that if there is one substrate other substrate positions are fixed named differently these two are are the positions from the substrate next to that are the position next to are meta then this is para so this is are the are the position then meta meta position this is para position so i have a meta so in meta position i have another product so both bromines are in the meta positions so uh, if you write a common name uh, this should be written as dibromo benzene but wh where the dibromides are there meta so smeta dibromo benzene dibromo benzene meta dibromo benzene so this is the common name but once it comes the iupac name then you need to go for the numbering so numbering will be from one of the bromine so where one carbon has to be numbered where the bromine is just just 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can number from any of the carbon but you should see that the substituents carbons numbers if you add it should be the least one so if i number from here 1 plus 3 4 if i number from somewhere there is two if i number from here 1 2 3 4 so 2 plus 4 6 it is higher so the least one we need to consider so now 1 comma 3 dibromo benzene we can write this as 1 comma 3 dibromo benzene so the iupac name is 1 1 comma 3 dibromo dibromo benzene so this is the iupac name so this is the common mm -hmm. so meta dibromo benzene or 1 comma 3 dibromo benzene this is the one so similarly if i have another compound so like this all halo arenes are named generally so if i have a benzene benzene and i have like this three bromine atoms i have tribromo benzene so if i have a tribromo benzene so the common name will be these tribromides are symmetrically there so symmetrical sim sim and tribromo benzene we can write tribromo tribromo benzene but if you go, go for iupac you have to number one two three four five six so one three five tribromo benzene so that is the iupac name 135 tribromo benzene is the iupac name so 1 comma 3 comma 5 1 3 5 tribromo tribromo benzene tribromo benzene so this is the way the nomenclature forms okay dihalogens having the same type of halogen atoms so these are the different things now we will see other type of names. The dihalogens having same type of halogen atoms, 
they are named as alkylatine or alkylene dihydrates so based on the uh, number of atoms and how it is for example if i take ch3 ch both hydrogens are replaced with chlorines so then here we will say alkylene halide because this is a alkane but two hydrogens are replaced with a chlorines both are same letter so what we will write common name this is ethylene or ethyl moiety so ethylene alkylene we should write so ethylene ethylene chloride ethylene e ethylene d ethylene so chloride chloride we no need to write dichloride right now this is the common name but i will paste name one one dichloro ethene one comma one dichloro ethene that is i will paste name is one two and first carbon i have two hydrogen uh, one comma one two halogens so dihalo dichloro for example here it is chloro dichloro chloro ethene so one comma one dichloro ethene is the iupac name iupac the top one is common name common name common name we will say ethylene alkylene it is alkyl group but we have one carbon you have two uh, substituents of halogens so alkylene chloride but in iupac names simply iupac is very easier now so one 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 position same one position i have two so two times you need to write one comma one dichloro ethane this is the name these are called as gem dihalides these type of halides are called as gem dihalide that means at one carbon if we have two halogen groups then those are called as gem dihalides remember if similarly if i have another compound where i have ch2 ch2 both sides i have chlorine that means each carbon is having one one chlorine these are side by side chloride atoms so those are called as vic vicinal dihalides so we will write vis dihalides what we will say vis dihalides v i c dihalides vis dihalides vicinal dihalides and here you can write 1 comma 2 dichloroethane the name is simple iupac 1 comma 2 dichloroethane but when you write a common name here we have taken a alkene and we have written ethylene chloride but here you it should be alkene and your substituents too so alkene is ethylene this is so ethylene chloride we can write ethylene chloride alkene ch2 double ch2 is called ethene or ethylene so ethylene you have just added chloride atoms addition reaction so i have one chlorine one chlorine here so common name will be ethylene dichloride ethylene so that's what ethylene dichloride this is the common name. you see the common names for both of these if the halogens are at the same carbon two halogens at the same carbon then you will get alkylene that is ethylene if it is propyl one more say ethylene propylene so the common name is ethylene if i have the chlorines on side by side carbon like vicinal dihalides then it is called as ethylene alkylene propylene ethylene so ethylene dichloride here is ethylene dichloride and these are vicinal dihalides these are gem dihalides vicinal and gem dihalides so similarly we can able to name it so practice the naming nomenclature of different compounds you take a different ways you write different compounds and try to name them if you have any doubts please let us know in the comment box thank you we will see in the next class nature of for this bonding and how we can able to prepare this halo alkanes and halo erenes thank you